when iPadOS was rolling out, I made a mistake. My mistake was saying that mouse support was trash and it was just bad and I was never going to use it. Part of that was because uh, it was actually really buggy for me. I could never get the keyboard to dismiss. But part of it was because I just didn't see it. So today, I'm going to talk about the reasons that I love mouse support in iPadOS. And I think that you should love it too. One of the first reasons that I love mouse support in iPadOS is that it allows proper ergonomics on your desk because you don't have to mount the iPad so low, nor do you have to reach up really high to be able to touch the iPad because you have a mouse. It, it's right there, it's beside you like a mouse, your screen can be set up at the proper height, and then you can still use your mouse to interact with your iPad however you want. It's excellent. I do find a few of the gestures are a little tough, say pulling in slide over, but ultimately I love being able to use my mouse with the iPad and have a proper ergonomic setup instead of looking down at my iPad all the time. The second thing that mouse support really does well with your iPad is it allows external monitors really well. Before you'd have to have your iPad just close at hand all the time so that you could interact with it because there was no way of interacting with the operating system while you looked at it on an external monitor. Now, however, you can have, you know, your beautiful 4K monitor. I have a 27 UL 500 from LG and I can still interact with it. No problem right up on my screen because it's got a mouse to work with it. Now, yes, iPad OS is really only mirroring at this point unless the application supports it better, supports, you know, good second screen experiences like LumaFusion does. But ultimately, it's still really nice. I can interact with it whenever I want, I can keep using it, and I really have started using my iPad with a second screen 99% of the time. I think ultimately after using my iPad with mouse support since, you know, since I got it working, since the official iPad OS release and I, you know, did a full reset and then set up from scratch and it started working properly, is it just feels natural. Like anytime I'm going to use my iPad, I'm like, oh boy, I wish I had a mouse with this. Uh, I even bought a funky little folding Bluetooth keyboard. Let me see if I can find it for you. Here it is. I bought this funky little folding Bluetooth keyboard. It has a trackpad on one side. It's like $19 on banggood.com. Yeah, I will review it at some point. But I bought that so that I could have a trackpad or mouse support with me while I'm out and about working. A lot of the places that I work, the tables are just too narrow to put a mouse beside, so I want a trackpad on there. Bridge keyboards, I like my bridge keyboard, has come out and said that they are going to introduce a trackpad model in 2020. I am on that list. I will be buying that keyboard so that I can test it out with trackpad support, but I always reach for a trackpad on this device that doesn't have a trackpad. That's how natural it feels. I just want a trackpad. Even when I have it in a standard folio case, now I have to grab an external keyboard like my old Logitech K811, which I should never have donated to my family because I love that keyboard. Or I'm using an Apple Magic keyboard. I want to reach for that mouse. I keep going and like, oh, I want to be using mouse support with it. And it's just not there on those keyboards. So I'm out of luck. But despite loving iPadOS and loving mouse support, it is not all roses. Probably the first thing and the most annoying thing that I ended up figuring out how to solve really quickly now is that if your keyboard sleeps and your mouse is still attached via Bluetooth, when you bring your keyboard back awake, it doesn't have keyboard commands. So like you can't hit command space to search with spotlight inside an app. If you're back at the home screen, it'll work. When you're inside an app, command tab won't work either. So this can be anything from I'm going to connect my mouse and then I connect my keyboard to my keyboard fell asleep, my mouse didn't, my mouse woke up faster, whatever it is. But basically, if your mouse is connected before your keyboard via Bluetooth and you're inside apps, you're going to lose some keyboard commands. It's a fairly simple fix, even if it is really, really annoying. Turn off your mouse, turn it back on, and you're good to go. Everything will connect again, all your keyboard commands will come back. I have not encountered a keyboard where those commands don't work. The reason they don't work is because your mouse was connected first, people. The reason you lose those keyboard commands has nothing to do with the keyboard outside of it was asleep or it was connected second. Turn the mouse off, turn it back on again, just like they say in the IT guys, and it's going to work. One of the other issues I have with iPadOS in general and mouse support is that sometimes the touch targets are just too small. 
Affinity Photo is one of the culprits in this. Anytime I need to use Affinity Photo, I actually have my iPad on a stand. I'll link to my ergonomic iPad OS desk setup video up here. And what you'll see is I bring my iPad in, I bring it in close on my left hand because I'm left-handed and I grab the pencil off and I actually use Affinity Photo on the iPad screen because using it up on a second screen, the pointer support, the it's just, it's not there. It's a pain in the butt, the buttons are too small. I find that in a few apps. I find that with a few gestures like slide over, like I said earlier, pulling in slide over apps from the side is, I'm getting better at it, but it always feels like a bit of a struggle to pull a slide over app in. Same with swiping up to pull up the dock. It just feels like a bit of a struggle. Same with swiping up to get back to the home screen. Feels like a bit of a struggle. Luckily, iPadOS does let you set custom commands to the keys on your mouse. So I've set one of the buttons on my original MX Master Mouse to take me back to the home screen. I can solve some of these problems. Unfortunately, iPadOS does not let you invoke slide over from any custom keyboard commands from the mouse, from anything like that, which sucks. You need to fix that, Apple. Another issue with using mouse support and kind of with second screen is that not enough apps support a good second screen experience. Mouse support really does enable you to use like a proper full-size monitor with iPadOS and iPadOS needs to graduate up to that class where honestly, even if it just made it fully wide enough so that I had everything works the same, but I have like a full 4K without black bars beside it, iPadOS experience, I take it. Clearly iPad can drive it. I'm displaying 4K content via LumaFusion on a 4K monitor and there's no hiccups. The apps that do it well, you look at it and say, ah, this is what it should be all the time. I have hopes that it will get there. I also am worried that it's gonna take significantly longer than I want. Although with iPadOS out there, at least they have to update every year instead of letting it languish sometimes. Even with the annoyances that I have with iPadOS and mouse support, I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like I've said, I find myself reaching for a mouse Lots of times I'm using my iPad. Most of the time when I'm using my iPad, at some point I'm go, oh, oh, I don't have a mouse. Oh, I'm in the kitchen. Oh, I can't do that. And I kind of wish there was mouse support or better ways to access the mouse all the time. I'm not sure that that folding Bluetooth keyboard is gonna be it, but I love mouse support. And if you haven't tried it out, you should try it out. Specifically try it out if you wanna have an ergonomic desk set up so you can raise your iPad up to eye level instead of having to look down at it all the time and getting that crank in your neck. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you love the video, subscribe, but never hit that stupid bell because get back to work. Like you will have YouTube time at some point. Watch my videos then. Maybe your cat wants to watch it. If you have a cat, bring the cat over, let the cat watch it with you.